Hey everybody, I am John Barker and welcome back to another episode of Here to Record Show and Tell. Now the only thing I have on my desk this week is a iPad because I am taking you through a few YouTube channels that I find really helpful to me. I've been making show and tell for just over a year now. December 17th was the first episode I released and then in the start of 2008 or 17 I started doing one a week. So I'm not quite at my year anniversary of weekly episodes, but um, I've still been doing it for a while now. So I just wanted to share a few helpful channels that I've found along the way. So Leading Zeros is one of the first channels that really got me into wanting to build my own ATEM setup. Um, Nathan Ray and his video, which I'm just gonna show you a little snippet from now, um, is this one right here, where he built his own ATEM television studio in a flight case. Um, you can check out links to all these videos below, by the way. I'm not gonna make you watch them here on the channel. But uh, for me, this was a huge inspiration of what you can pack into a small space. So Nathan really got me started thinking about what I can do. Um, next up, Studio Tech. I must have spent hours on this channel. Um, thankfully, they've started uh, making content again, and um, it's good to see them go live. I actually caught them live the other day for the first time in years, obviously. So. They've got loads of great content on there. Um, a lot of old content, obviously, because they were around a few years ago, but they're making new stuff again. Um, this video about the Blackmagic ATEM 4K production uh, lineup, for me, was a, was a huge love to watch over and over again. Um, next up, Lon.tv. He used to use a Blackmagic switcher, and he was somebody that I watched whenever I started getting into this kind of stuff. And now I just watch him for all his other great tech videos. Um, but Way back a few years ago, he made this one where it's uh, his whole setup. Um, just these one, these kind of videos that you just watch and you just want to create your own setup. So that's why I loved about these. Um, and then finally on my sort of list, I would say is Doug Johnson Productions. Um, he's kind of like what I imagine myself being whenever I have a little bit more budget. Um, at the minute, he's actually building his own production trailer. So. It's enough for eight people to sit inside and it has you know ATEM switchers, it has all the audio, all the video, a, a bunch of monitors. Um, you can check out on his channel, I'm sure, I think he has a playlist of all the videos um, from that series. But below you'll find a link to one of the first videos of his I watched, which was budget video production. Um, and the reason that I like his channel, because it's not that far away from what I do on this channel, right? It's uh, budget video production. Maybe I'm aimed more at like a one person operator um, and a little bit more, I think more budget friendly, but you can easily push yourself into what he buys and what he uses and multiple camera operators and multiple people helping out. So someday I think I'll spend a bit more money and get to where he is, which will be pretty cool. And uh, that, that does it for all the main ones. A few honorable mentions I wanted to throw in there. The DVE store. Uh, which make great, great product uh, talks and videos and all that kind of stuff. The PTZ Optics, which are just uh, constantly going live and constantly doing interesting things with PTZ Optics cameras. And then Sandy Audiovisual. Uh, you'll find these links in the description as well and you can dig through a few bits and pieces. But those are just a few that I really like to watch. And I would love to know what you watch. Um, videos, like, videos like you watch here, channels like you're subscribed to. Um, just let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you watch. And um, I guess I just want to say thanks to all of you for subscribing and thanks to all of the people that I've mentioned before uh, for helping me learn things and get to where I am now. And uh, that'll do it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.